We're here with Eric at the EVLC with his, what is it actually? It's a 1968 Land Rover Series 2A. It's a 109, a station wagon. Uh -huh. Does that make it four door or that's, the, yeah. cause I see there's two door and four door versions of this, right? The 109 is a length, wheelbase length. So that's gonna uh -huh. be a, a, the wagon versions. They do have two door and four door versions. Okay. But the superstar of this is the Tesla drive unit in here. Right, we're looking at, uh, we got a full P85 battery pack with the modules, about 12 of them up front in this box, and then there's another four modules back underneath where the gas tank would have been. That's and then really a, nice. And then a Tesla large drive unit um, sitting where the transmission would have been originally. Turned uh, transverse, so one, one shaft powers the rear axle, one shaft powers the, the front axle. Nice, and... and uh... Did you buy this as a running vehicle? What was the condition when you got it? It was not running when I bought it. The last tags on it said 1985. <laughs> 85. <laughs> yeah, so everything inside, anything that was rubber in the car was just disintegrated. It was completely, you know, all the window seals, all the, the axle shaft seals were all toast. Okay. So, so it needed rehab, serious rehab. Right. So I broke down all the axles, repacked all the bearings, whatnot, um, replaced bearings. Um, it originally had a um, V8 motor. Somebody had done a V8 conversion because they normally have a diesel four-cylinder, but it had a Chevy V8, so uh -huh. it already had kind of been cut up a little bit. So right. that made it hurt a little bit less when I had to cut it <laughs> here and there. But I tried to yeah, preserve yeah. it you know, as best you could. Try to keep it as original as possible. Great, and you drove it here from Fallbrook. That's not a minor feat, so that's uh, how far? That's about 20 miles. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I've driven it um, all the way down the coast one time. I think the farthest side of the range, I've, I think it'll go about 100 miles on a charge. Okay, 100 miles on a full charge. Yeah, this doesn't have the efficiency of a Tesla Model S. No, it's It doesn't like, have that uh, 0 0.2 uh, wind drag factor. It's like driving a brick wall. Yeah. You know? And, and you said most people on the road don't even know it's electric. It just looks like a regular Land Rover. You probably still get thumbs up, but... Yeah, yeah, I did. It's a, yeah. And then I did some uh, upholstery work in there. Got some green canvas from Harbor Freight and covered <laughs> all the... All it the, fits perfectly. It looks yeah. stock to me. What do I know? And I use the T2C control unit for the motors. That's okay. A, that's a great piece of kit. It's and good. how long would you say the uh, conversion took you on this? Um, I've been working on it for five years, but of that five years, maybe active, maybe a year, you know, a okay. year and a half. Um, so you had some stops and starts, I guess. Right? Yeah, some frustrations, you know, trying to get things to work, as you would expect. But you stuck to it and you persevered. Yes, yes. sir. Yes, sir. Excellent. It is a, it is a uh, very nice vehicle, and it has such natural patina. Yeah. Um, yeah. It really is a great job. And you said you do have power steering in it, but you're having a little bit of trouble with that. Yeah, it's got a Saturn View electric type power steering unit in there. Um, and when it works, it's great. Right now there's a little short in the system that needs to be okay. corrected. But So you're getting your minor. exercise uh, at slow speeds here. Yeah, yeah. All right. So it continues to evolve. It requires dedication and perseverance, but it looks like you're getting there. Yeah. A lot of fun though, right? Absolutely. The process is fun. And learning. I'm sure you've learned a lot from this. That's, yes, sir. Learning is our middle name. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for bringing it down today. I really You're appreciate welcome. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, thanks for having me. And I all have right. learned from you all. When I've come down here to different meet and greets, I've learned things that I've really applied to this. So Absolutely. I yeah, think we, it's great what you guys are doing. We all learn from each other. So we all make uh, the same but different mistakes. And it's uh, very helpful to have a community around this. Thanks. All right. Thanks for having me.